Hi friends, this is Vetrivel. This tutorial I will teach how to read a text file from uh, using Cshaft. Okay. First of all, I will create a new form here. Right click, add new and new Windows form. Here I am just changing the name to uh, read text file and click add so the read text file file and click add I have the form right now uh, I have one more thing I have already one form this is saved to XML like that so by default in program we it will be saved to it will load uh, only saved to XML uh, before running the project I need to change the uh, form name here so just I am read to text file I am changing now I am click to run the project so it will directly run the read text file form okay now I am just stopping the project uh, after that I am changing something like that so I need this I am going to the common controls here I have to add rich text box here rich text box I am just added one rich text box here uh, I need to put one text box uh, like uh, ordinary text box just I am adding the text box here after that I am putting on button to fetch fetch now once I click the button fetch I need to uh, read the particular text file here okay so uh, I need to create one text file here before that I am just going uh, my computer and uh, D drive so here many things is there I need to find any text file is there uh, it's nothing okay uh, one text file is there so you have to see this is one text file so I need to read this text file here so the text file name is just I am copy the text file properties D drive and name for that after I am just going to the our project here I need to declare string path equal to yes dot txt before that I am putting the path which path here just I am right, right click and go to properties you will get the path here just copy the path and paste before that ok and just call it one more thing using a single slash then it will throw the error so you have the two options right now so you need to put one more slash or else you need to put before that at sign so you can use both anything anything you can use before that at sign or uh, you have to use the double slash here or oh, now I am using before that at sign ok after I need to uh, call string builder to build the uh, strings ok string string builder s b equal to new string builder now I am using 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 stream reader to read a file stream st or so you can't find the stream reader because you need to declare the namespace 
so using system dot io now store stream reader now you will get the stream reader here so stream reader yes or equal to new stream reader here i need to <coughs> put the path so path <coughs> so <coughs> inside we have to read the uh, using the stream reader you can read the uh, files to uh, a particular path after that you have to append that uh, lines line by line into uh, stream builder string builder okay so first uh, we need to read those line by line so while uh, line by line then you can use the uh, loop for I am uh, using loop loop uh, while loop and peak equal to zero so step by step it will be reading here I am typing sp dot sorry sb dot append string stream reader dot read line so it will read a line by line line by line <coughs> line by line so here I'm just pass the rich text box one dot text equal to text box one dot text equal to sp dot sb dot to string okay now we can check it is working or not just run fetch <coughs> okay guys it perfectly reader so it's a step by step is reader right now okay now i need to use is perfectly working so after that I need to uh, use here uh, dialog file dialog so we can fetch the uh, data from easily okay so file. just to remove this no need no need this so just I'm using to declare open file dialog op equal to new open file dialog here op dot initial directory equal to so I need to put C colon C colon here after op dot filter filter equal to uh, txt text files star dot txt txt equal to 
After that, so before that, I am just hiding those lines. Hiding those lines. Okay, uh, these lines I am just I'm hiding those lines. So I am checking is working or not. So one more thing, I doesn't do it right now. Just I need to put. If op op dot show dialog, I'm just putting like like that. After that, just I'm running. So it's dialog. So here txt file dot txt. This is here. I am typing now. So the, the the that will be come here by default it's come here. So I need to put more here to go D drive. So you can see only text files here. No need to see other files. So I need to get all files. Then that options you need. Then just I am here. I need to put one more thing. Just add like that. After all. Files all files star dot star uh, star dot star. So now I run the project. Now I click the fetch button here. So I have two options all files and text files I need to select all files then it will be show the all the files in D drive I need to put text file then it will show only text files ok one more thing I will do by default by default by default I need to all files so op dot uh, filter index equal to to save and run so you can see by default it all files so you can change anything like that so now we need to write the code here so if is show dialog this already is there so just I need to put here equal to system dot dialog result dot ok so here no need to put like that also system dot like that so just you have to put this simply is no problem for that so the system dialog is ok then it will be render like that so I need to change little bit here uh, stream path ok text box one dot text equal to op dot I need to put the uh, path from uh, here just to me mm, just I um, need to op dot uh, file name file name just now I'm run the project. I'm D drive by D drive. I'm selecting. Put the text file only. Now I'm select the file. Now we will get the path here. 
okay i will do one more thing also uh, swing path here na just control x and control v here just i need to change copy this same things and paste it now and save and also i need to just undo the code and save now and execute fetch so it by default is c drive is coming so i am changing d drive and changing the text file only after that i am choosing the file and click okay so it will open like that go to c drive and selecting the it will open in log files also one more thing i will do so by default it will come c drive only after that i am changing d drive and all i am changing text file and many things again again i am doing like that so i need to uh, once i am changing the dialog option na uh, after that i am also uh, same dialog box will same path will become uh, how to set the same path will become like that op dot uh, restore directory equal to true now i am saying the save the project and run the project again click by default c drive will come now i am going to change the d drive and changing the text file and fetch this okay now i am click the same things like that we can restore the directory it will be restored okay so restore directory is can't to then so we have to delete this and fetch it will be automatically come the restore directory so you no need to uh, set those things so automatically you once fetch na it automatically which one you select last time which directory it will come uh, same directory okay guys we will meet on next tutorial and best tutorial like that we can read the text file right now bye see you